everybody, this is Joe slash Fizzle CC. And today I'm gonna to be giving an early preview to a plugin which is in development for Construct 3 that is gonna unlock a lot of great features inside the third dimension. And this is McCall slash Kindai Games Canon 3D Physics plugin. And this is something that for those of us who have tinkered inside the world of 3D inside of Construct 3, we would love to have a lot of these features that is on the roadmap for this plugin. So let's go ahead and dive on in and see what this thing is all about. Okay, so we are inside of the itch page right now where you're going to go and be able to download this. I'll put a link down below. Uh, you can get it for free right now. This will become a paid plugin uh, as it gets developed and more features are added. Um, so when you go ahead and open this up, uh, you can see right away, we've just got a little simple demo environment. If I click, oh, it's able to detect which object uh, I'm currently aiming at. And look, we're able to apply physics. And oh, they can even bump into each other. And let's see if we can knock it off the map. Drop the floor, maybe, maybe, maybe. Okay, we got one. So look, all right, look what we got going on inside of Construct 3. We have uh, a very simple 3D environment, but we're able to apply physics to it and apply an impulse to these objects. And we're able to detect where it's hitting using a ray cast, which is part of the plugin in 3D space. And we're also able to let things react a little bit more naturally using physics. So let's talk about how he's doing this. And let's look at a couple examples inside of Construct 3. So this is being developed off of the back of Canon.js, which is a lightweight 3D physics engine written in JavaScript. So this is gonna enable uh, McCall to incorporate some of the features from this uh, library into this plugin, which is great because it's gonna enable a roadmap for some additional features than what's there right now. So right now we've got a couple of simple things. It only works with 3D shape, so not 3D object yet, uh, but 3D shape, box, and wedge. Uh, we can only rotate things currently in the Z-axis, which is what uh, 3D shape supports natively inside of Construct 3. Uh, if you've played with it in the past, you know it's kind of annoying. I can't. I can only rotate around the Z-axis. I can't rotate in X and Y. Um, however, in the comments, it does look like this is something that McCall plans to enable in the future, so that it can rotate in all axes which would be fantastic. Um, anyways, and he wants to add some other options. Uh, he's got things like a cylinder and other things that he wants to put in there for uh, shapes to support, which would be super cool. Um, anyways, continuing on down the list, you can apply an impulse to the box center, which we saw a demonstration of this, and you can set it to be immovable, like if it's the ground, you don't want it to be able to move uh, or movable, and you can set the gravity settings and you can do this 3D rate cast. So it's a pretty bare bones implementation for this plugin to start but it is exciting to see where this thing could go. Uh, you know, he puts down here some more features that he's putting, you know, planning on eventually putting into this plugin in the future. Okay, so let's apply this to a project and see what this thing kind of looks like. So there's this license test example that uh, if we open this up uh, inside of Construct 3, I'm gonna take this and just to kind of ground ourselves. So today this is being done in 3D, uh, which is great. However, uh, if I go and I hit play on this, let's open this up. All right, I'll probably, I'm gonna intentionally fail here. But uh, if I hit the cone, going pretty fast, what, you know, it will move it out of the way and that's great. But guess what, we're just faking that. Uh, so let's see how they're doing that in the code in the example. Um, if you come down here, that's going on right here. Where if the car hits the cone, do a tween, and then you have to kind of handle, make sure it stops if it hits like the fence. And this can work pretty well, um, but you know, eventually it's just not that great. And you don't want to have to keep adding all these different tweens and things for different objects and it's okay. But the physics is a great uh, application here because you kind of just want it to move like you would expect it to move when you hit a cone. So I went ahead and I just quickly changed this to um, on all these different cone bodies to have the 3D physics and I added a kind of a ground plane uh, behind here, which I've checked the immovable after adding the Canon 3D physics behavior. And if I come here to all the different cone bases, uh, which are right here, I've added the Canon 3D physics, I've enabled it, they're not immovable. I raised them all up so you'll see them fall when I start. And what I've done is I've just put a simple is overlapping, apply you know the same equation that they had for their tween. I just kind of dropped in right here. And this is a fancy way of basically you know, applying a force in the X vector and Y vector of the angle that you are relative to each other. So anyways, it's going to make it look somewhat realistic. So let's go ahead and hit play on this thing. 
All right. We're just we're just gonna get started up here. I'm gonna make it so it doesn't fail. Um, oh, <laughs> that's funny. What did I do here? It's it's exploding upward. Oh, <laughs> that's because I had I was playing with those. Let's turn that back to zero. I had a lot of force uh, in the Z direction there. Okay, so let's try that again. I don't know if I'll edit that out or leave it in. I think it's kind of funny. All right, so what do I got here? So I kind of cut. Uh, let's see if I can. All right, so I'm pushing it along, and there you go. And they're bumping into each other, and it, you know, it, it looks it looks pretty good, right? I mean, there's probably some things we can do here for like the different force values, but I can push this these cones along, and make them move, and they bump into each other and everything like that. Um, I think what I wanted to do. Let's just try one more thing here. Is I wanted to actually apply a quick thing here. So let's see if I can do that. Car dot car dot speed. Let's make it the absolute value in case I'm going like negative. And um, let's times it by like 0 0.1 because I don't want like a super high force. Let's see what this looks like. Let's add a little Z and see if I can get it to hop. And then you can imagine how this can be used for like projectiles, like, like catapults and things, right? Where you no longer have to like, ah, you see, there we go. It's hopping. That looks awesome. That's exactly what I was hoping it would do. So look at this. Okay. Um, and how's performance? Okay. Well, that's... Let's uh let's baseline ourselves here. I've got a lot of stuff running in the background, but all right. So what are we sitting at? So just to baseline ourselves right now with the cones, I've got like 22% CPU. All right, so let's go ahead and double the amount of cones and see what this thing does. Okay, so now we've doubled the amount of cone bases which have the physics object on it. So let's go ahead and see what that does. So we went up to 35% or so, and that means we went from around 115 of these guys to 230. And let's see uh, how this feels. Now these obviously don't have uh, the other art on them, but I just wanted to test it. But yeah, no, this is, this, is, this is awesome. So here you go. 3D physics going on inside of Construct 3, us knocking over some cones with our car. And you know what, this is awesome. I'm really, really excited to see where this plugin goes. All right, everybody, thank you for tuning in today, and I hope you enjoyed this preview of the Canon 3D Physics plugin from McCall slash Kind Eye Games inside of Construct 3. I think it's awesome. I'm really, really excited to see where this thing goes um, as he adds more features into it. I really think people are going to figure out how to unlock some really interesting use cases to extend uh, the game engine, which we love, a little bit further in the third dimension. With that, everybody, have a good one.